Hello everybody and welcome back to FX Street. My name is Akash and today we're going to be taking a look at Ethereum and discuss what's happening with it. Before we get into that, please make sure to head on over to our YouTube channel. Sick. Head on over to our YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to stay updated to the hottest trends in crypto market, make sure to also click on the bell icon. You can give us a follow on Twitter at FXS Crypto. And if you enjoyed the content that I put out, make sure to give me a follow as well at Mangeko with the zero at the end. Click this link here in my bio. It will take you to my YouTube channel. And uh, I, I explain in detail what my take on the market is, not just from a weekly, three-day, one-day one time frame, but also go down and do the 15-minute time frames, uh, look for scalps and that, that sort of stuff. So if you're interested in that sort of content, make sure to give, uh, give me a follow, no, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can join my Telegram group by clicking on this link here where I update you on the trades that I'm taking. So let's get into Ethereum. Right, so this was a mishap, right? I was expecting Ethereum price to go up to 2000 before the merge. Uh, it didn't happen during the merge. It was pretty, pretty damn calm. Uh, I didn't expect that as well. Uh, and after that, Bitcoin price dropped very little and then Ethereum price basically hemorrhaged. Uh, it broke this uh, neat uptrend that we had going on. And yeah, since then the price has kind of struggled to recover. And it's going to go for this liquidity resting below these lows here at 13, 1300 to 1355, right? Now, beyond that, uh, I've been talking about this, right? If we never, if we never got the 2000 level here, or even if we did get the 2000 uh, level before the merge or like around the time of the merge, uh, the target was basically 1280, right? And we're, we're inching closer to 1280. So that's pretty much all I have. And it, it kind of makes sense, right? If you, if you look at the dual in profile here, you can see that, uh, since we kind of broke down below the, the volume point of control at roughly 1585, it's basically been down only, right? And the, the gap here basically kind of, uh, I think 1280 makes a, a lot more sense here. And even if we just extend this all the way down here, yep, there it is, right? Even then you can see there's a gaping hole extending from roughly 1453, where the price is currently right now, to roughly 1250. But right? beyond that, uh, the, the, the volume profile kind of the spikes around 1200. So 1280 should be pretty good, you know, pretty good level to go. But once we kind of break below uh, 1200, I think it's a straight uh, dip down to 1080, which is the midpoint of this particular range. And just make a note of this, right? There's, there's really good and juicy equal loss formed here at 994, which has been uncollected. So just keep it, if the price ever breaks down to 100, I think we could come down here, sweep 994 and then go up. So yeah, that is pretty much it for Ethereum guys. There's nothing really interesting happening here. Uh, even if we do recover here, the, the volume part of control that I just discussed here uh, is gonna be, is gonna play a very crucial role in defending the price. And even if we do manage to overcome the volume part of control at 1500 or something, uh, there's gonna be 1730. Uh, resistance level, which is a high time frame uh, barrier, and clearing that seems kind of impossible. So, yeah, expect Ethereum price to go down to 1280, 1200 uh, over the next few days. So that that completes my analysis on Ethereum. If you did enjoy this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Mm -hmm.